Paddle down the open road Catch a fish where rivers flow Flying high where drones do go one of Delaware's busiest and most important junctions is in the midst of a major transformation. The I-95 Route 896 interchange in Newark is undergoing a $143 million reconstruction project designed to improve traffic flow, enhance safety, and prepare the area for future growth. Launched in May 2023, the work is progressing steadily with a completion expected by the end of 2026. Let's take a look at what's changing. At the heart of the project is a complete reconfiguration of the interchange. Two new flyover ramps are being constructed. One connecting I-95 southbound to Route 896 in both directions, and another linking Route 896 southbound to I-95 north. The first of these, the flyover from I-95 southbound to Route 896, is already open and operational, and you can see that in the video. The second flyover, which they are working on now, is slated to open later this year. You see trucks parked on it as they are working on it. But that's just part of the story. Crews are also rehabilitating bridge decks over I-95, realigning ramps, paving new road surfaces, installing barrier walls, and laying the foundation for safer and smoother travel. With all this construction comes impact on local traffic. Currently, a contraflow pattern is in place on Route 896 to allow bridge deck work to proceed. This means northbound and southbound traffic is reduced to a single lane, which you can see in the video, with northbound drivers shifted to the southbound side. Several key ramps remain closed. The ramp from I-896 to I-95 southbound has been closed since May 2024 and will stay closed through December of this year. The ramp from I-95 northbound to Route 896 will remain closed for the duration of the project. Drivers should also expect intermittent ramp and lane closures throughout this summer as construction continues around the clock. Weekly updates are posted by DelDOT to help drivers plan ahead. Well, why does this project matter? This isn't just about asphalt and concrete. It's about solving long-standing safety and congestion problems. The new design eliminates the dangerous weaving patterns that plague drivers merging between I-95 southbound and Route 896 southbound. It also expands the interchange's capacity by introducing longer acceleration and deceleration lanes. And there's a benefit for non-drivers too. A new multimodal overpass will connect the University of Delaware campus with neighborhoods south of Newark creating a safer, more accessible route for pedestrians and cyclists. But looking at the video and the construction as it stands right now, I cannot see where this is located. So here's a rough timeline for what's next. In the summer fall of this year, continued ramp closures, shifting traffic patterns, structural and bridge deck work. Later this year, late to 2025, opening of the final flyover from Route 896 to I-95 and completion of major ramp configurations. Early next year, the final paving, barrier installation, and bridge rehabilitation. At the end of 2026, full project completion, which I assume also includes the uh, bike uh, ped pathway. As new art continues to grow, so must its infrastructure. This project is a massive undertaking, but when finished, the I-95 Route 896 interchange will be safer, smarter, more efficient for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians alike. So up until now, I had to stay on the, on the um, northbound side of 896 because of the traffic that was traveling, uh, pretty much intense traffic traveling at this time of day, which is around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I had to wait until traffic subsided before I crossed 896 to get the other side because I didn't want to fly over moving vehicles. And you'll see in a moment, we'll be able to shift to the other side and you can see, uh, get a better look at the flyover that's already in play where cars can exit I-95 southbound and get onto Route 896 southbound.
you have a cluster of trees there that's circulated by road. I, I wonder what's gonna, what, if there's any wildlife that's going to get trapped in there over time. Because there's really no way out safely. It's unclear by looking at these, uh, this video where the bike pad lane is going to be. I'm sure that's going to be the last thing they stripe in before they uh, fully open up the uh, interchange. Right now, this is looking northbound on I-95, and you can see there's quite a bit of traffic for around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. With the growth of Newark and um, the University of Delaware especially, this interchange over the years, uh, in, the future, in future years, will get heavily used. Now we're looking southbound on I-95, and in the distance, you can see the toll plaza. Now we're looking uh, northbound on 890, Route 896. And underneath there, where you're, you're seeing, that's the Christina River. That's the flyover on the right-hand side which is still under construction. And you can see there the flyover where they're coming from I-95 to Route 9, 896 southbound. That's open at this time. Yeah, so we were able to cross over uh, Route 896 at this point. But I'm not going further south over I-95. Again, this costs $143 million. And you can see there's quite a bit of traffic, even for a Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock. So we're not even near lunchtime and we're not near rush hours either. Now the bike club used to have, the White Clay Bicycle Club used to have a bike ride which went down 896 from Newark all the way to the beach. I believe that was the Twin Centuries. And we used to ride down 896, believe it or not. It wasn't as bad 20 years ago as it is now. I'm not sure we would try it today without that uh, bike pad laying in place. That's looking uh, northeast at this point. And Coaches Bridge Road right beyond that tree line on the other side of 896. And we'll have to wait for a break in traffic before we cross over 896 again. Okay, let's go. So we have about a year and a half left before this is complete. Uh, prior to flying the drone in this area, I suspected it was closer to completion than it, than it actually is, but they're working around the clock. So it's, um, they're working as fast as they can, but hopefully they'll be able to beat their uh, projected timeline. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and until next time.